Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. Today we're revisiting an old friend, Dev Rendell from Fission 3.0. Hi, Dev. How are you doing, Peter? Good. I miss seeing you in person at the mining show, so this will have to do. <laughs> well, we'll drink the wine separately. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, Fission 3.0 is up in the Athabasca Basin, the world famous Athabasca Basin, a prolific source of high grade uranium. Uh, produces what, 20% of the world's uranium? Yeah, it varies depending on which mines are open, but you're getting up there, 25 to a third. So you've been up there since around 2003. The first reference I can find to you with a public company is Predator Exploration in May of 2003. <laughs> well, yeah, it, we did have some properties, but really, yeah, it was until we had that big move in uranium, remember, in 96, 98 for a short time, and right back yep. down, or Benton bankruptcy pushed it up. And there really was no activity till 2003 and 2004. And it was actually Strathmore was focused on the uh, uranium. And right. we started with um, Quebec and then finally got smart and went to Athabasca. <laughs> so that makes you one of the world's foremost leaders on exploration for uranium. Well, I, we've made two discoveries. And I say we, I mean, so I really want to, that's Ross and Ray and the team they put together. They've made two great discoveries. And though, to re remind our viewers, that was Fission 1.0 and Fission well, Uranium. Yeah. Well, actually, Strathmore was our first, and it split into two. The U.S. assets eventually got sold to Energy Fuels, and these, and we, and we took the Canadian assets to a plan of arrangement called Fission Energy. And then Fission Energy made a discovery. We butterflied again, Fission Uranium um, and Fission 3.0. So it's been... So if you held a share of Strathmore, you would have four shares in your account today, all active uranium companies. So Fission Uranium is your second largest shareholder with 11 million shares. Right. I think you're the third largest shareholder holding about 8 million direct and indirect. Right. Out of 160 million. And mm -hmm. Luster Sparks through a holding fund has 17 million. That's right. Um, uh, Sprott brought them in. And the management team does have a significant... Uh, number of shares yeah. as a group. So your interests are aligned with the rest of the team. Yeah. We have never sold a share. Like I, you know, I own some of these shares in 1996. Wow. It's a long time. So I'm either not very bright or very loyal. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan for 2021, 2022? Well, obviously subject to what prices are doing, how much money you raise, how active you are and how many partners come to the table. So that's subject to that. I believe that, you know, our, the flow through funds will raise some money this fall, hopefully, and get ready for a robust uh, winter expiration program. We would certainly would and I'll look at PLN and, you know, project already 14, 50 million spent on it. Right. We've got smoke. Uh, as my geologists always say, whether there's smoke, there's fire, but sometimes it takes several holes before you can know exactly, you know, where it is. Right. And some of your deposits are fairly shallow, aren't they? Almost all of them, you know, um, <laughs> The, again, uh, how we, we always are looking for projects that, that where we identify our targets being very shallow. It's cheap to explore, cheaper to drill, you know, one to 200 meters versus four, 800 meters. Right. Uh, and then also when you go to mine it, it's going to impact your market, your mining cost. So in that respect, always. And, um, but you know, it's but it's very hard to find sometimes. So that's why this technology, this airborne technology, a uh, group out of Calgary has, we've been using for years. We're always consistently looking for, you know, near other mines, and we're also looking for a boulders on top or an outcrop. Right. And um, that's the best indicator mineral in the world, right? Is another is more uranium. So that's what we're doing, and all our targets reflect that. Um takes money to explore. How much do you have in the bank? Well, about 1.7, but our overhead's minimal. I think we've got like, you know, uh, overheads like actually about 10 grand a month in salaries. I don't take one. I take all my in stock. Um, right. if, if we have no cash, then I do that. If we have some, we take some. But generally we, all the, uh, as you said, the management's aligned. You know, right. we want more shares because I believe, you know, you can be the uranium game as much as I love what, you know, um, what Ross is doing in fission uranium. Um, 
our friends at NextGen, Lee Courier. But the biggest bang for investors is discovery. Yeah, stock can go from 10 cents to a dollar, two dollars. A mine being developed will never go from 10 cents to a dollar, not a chance. So, you know, Lucas Lundin, um, you know, this was one of the reasons we split Strathmore into two. He says, he said to me, he says, you know, isn't developing a mine boring? And I said, he says, or developing. And he goes, no, exploration is the only way to go. And that's where his dad is, you know, right. um, did well. So we exploration is, is the best way to make the biggest bang for the buck. So here, big finish, Dev. Why uranium? Why not cobalt? Why aren't we talking about scandium? Why is uranium your uh, mineral of choice? Well, simply because there's a deficit every year. We, we use uh, 50 more million pounds than we, use, than we ever mine. And I think if we're serious about green energy, and I certainly get the feeling that Biden is for it, and you see the big smart money coming into it, whether it's Sprott with you know, buying uranium participation fund or ever, you're seeing this overhang uh, being wiped off. And I think it's when it moves, it's going to be very volatile. And so that's why if you, if you think that, and there's only one energy, Bill Gates will tell you, only one energy, you know, it's uh, carbon free, no footprint whatsoever, yet base low power. It's the only energy out there that won't add to our CO2. And we can go home at night and everybody can crank on their oven at the same time. That's a good finish. Dev, Thanks. thank you for your time. We'll be touching down thank you. you again. Fishing 3.0, Dev is accessible. Uh, if you're bored, give him a call. He'll talk to you all day. Thanks for your time, Dev. I'm Peter Claus. signing off from Investor Intel. Thank you, guys.